<laughs> By the way, Osama bin Laden's family abandoned their Bel Air estate list for $28 million. Have you guys seen this house? Yeah, you don't Can need I it. pull up this house? By the way, if you would have thought, a matter of fact, before you pull it up, I got a question for you. If you would have thought the name Osama bin Laden and an estate in Bel Air, what mm -hmm. color would you guess this house wouldn't be? <sighs> White. White? What color would you say? There's no way in the world Osama bin Laden bought a Bel Air estate and the color is? Pink. Pull up the house. <laughs> this is the house. Type in Osama bin Laden house biller. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, you interviewed his niece. Did I did. You not? Noor. Matter of fact, we were texting yesterday. Yes, she's Ew. work. She's Kai, uh, Kai. In the future, you could just have these tabs ready and go right to him. I'm just saying. Right there. Click on that. <laughs> Click on that. He normally does, but this <laughs> one. John Cougar. I'm going By the way, it. shout out to Kai's new haircut. Has Kai. anyone Check seen this it? Out. That's he's he's too good looking. Can That's you control F today. and make it bigger, Kai? It's important for people to see what this house looks like. And there it is, pink. I was right. That's a twenty-eight million dollar house. Twenty-eight million dollar house. John Cougar. If There's got to be a whole backyard. If you're thinking it about it, it's uh, Adam. Not a bad idea for you. If uh, you it looks like, like the bomb. I'm good. I'm good in California. But. You know, as I started reading this story, I'm like, yeah. hold on, what? There's Bin Ladens that live in America. Yeah. This seems really By the way, let me, let me read this whole story yeah, so ahead. people get the idea. Osama Bin Laden's uh, brother, Ibrahim Bin Laden, has listed his longtime Bel Air mansion for a whopping $28 million. Ibrahim, who's the older half-brother of the late terrorist, has owned the property for nearly four decades. This is a New York Post story since 1983. Ibrahim purchased the Mediterranean Villa-style mansion for $1.653 million in 1983. What would be roughly $5.5 million after counting for 38 years of inflation. But according to, uh, to the listing, he hasn't occupied the home since 9-11 attacks. Like Os Osama, Ibrahim was one of 56 children born to the Saudi Arabian construction tycoon Mohammed bin uh, Awad bin Laden. 56? Yes, yeah, who yeah, had 22, 22 wives. wives. Yeah. Mohammed served as the patriarch of multi-billionaire bin Laden clan, a family with long-standing businesses ties to Al Saud royals. Adam, go ahead. You were saying something. Yeah, well, look, uh, as I started reading this story, the beginning of it, I was like, hold on, what the hell are you talking about? Osama bin Laden has family that lives here in Bel Air. What the hell? Like, what is going on here? No shit that he hasn't occupied the home since September 11th. And then you don't just go with the headlines. You dig a little deeper. Like you said, you can't. And I said, all right, he's got 56 siblings 56 children. from 22 concubines. And uh, all right, that that that. Makes it a little easier to. I mean, and I and I circle back to the interview you did with Nora Bin Laden, who I think is a big Trump lady. It's just uh, you know how they say the apple doesn't fall from the tree. Sometimes it does. I interviewed a guy yesterday. I can't wait for this interview to go live. His name is uh, uh, what's his name? Amin, Amin, and he was a former Al Qaeda member who became an MI6 spy. Huh. Wow. I mean, it's a fascinating story. D brilliant guy, genius of a guy was recruited by Osama bin Laden. He was there at one of the meetings when Osama bin Laden sold them on the vision of what they were going to be doing. He was part of the camp. He worked with them. He was a, one, he was a person. He, he says, Osama bin Laden came up and he says, listen, you obviously don't have what it takes to be one of those visionary leaders that people follow. You just don't have that. I said, this is what Osama bin Laden told said him. to him? I said, why wow. would he say that? He says, because I had glasses on and I was small and I was weak. And he wanted people that were <laughs> strong. I said, okay. I said, so what did he say you could do? He says, well, he knew I was very well read. He says, I think you can make bombs for us. <laughs> so he said they taught me how to make bombs. That's the story. And he became an MI6 spy for UK, telling on everything he learned mm -hmm. working with those Pretty guys. incredible that they kept the last name. Like, I feel like yeah. if you... If you, somebody in your family does something that atrocious, I think you just got to go ahead. Well, and you know, Pablo Escobar's name. son uh, and, and his wife changed their last name, and they went and lived in Argentina. Pablo Escobar's son's name is Pablo Escobar, but he changed his name to Sebastian Marroquin. You're going to you're gonna have to switch that one up. You're going to have to switch that one up. Yeah, I was yeah, supposed to interview him in, in running UK. Running around anymore. <laughs> yeah. no. Or Hitler's. Not a lot of Stalins out there, no. yeah. It's probably not a not a name you want to. Yeah, that kind of does make sense to me. I think about it. You know, Did you Gerard, hear about Sasha phenomenal point you just made right there. <laughs> so my dad tells me, I said, yeah. Dad, so why don't you guys name me Sasha? I said, My mom wanted to name me Sasha. Well, how did that idea come about? And she said, You ever seen the movie? Uh, he Dr. said, Zhivago. Doctor Zhivago. And in Doctor Zhivago, the communist was Sasha. Sasha. My dad said, Never in a million years will I name my son after a <laughs> communist. He named me Patrick. Although most people in the military told me, you know your real name's not Patrick. You look more like a Mohammed than a Patrick. No. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm telling you, it's Patrick. They said, you're lying to us. Did you get a lot of hate in the, in the military? Of course I did. But, Being but, a Middle Eastern But you have to military? learn to troll back and play with them instead yeah. of being sensitive about it. It's, That's it's a, a great it's a point game. you made right there. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.